video from Fast Tech. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to disassemble and clean a PS4 CUH1001 or 1000 series PS4 system. In other countries, this could be a 1006 or 1007. The most important thing to look out for are the first two numbers after CUH. You can check the model number of your PS4 by looking at the back here and it should say model and this one is a CUH1001A, which is a Canadian or North American console, also sold in the United States. So I bought this PS4 sight unseen from somebody I met at a mall, and the person was very sketched out, and I could tell there was something wrong with the system. As you can tell, it's very clean on the outside, so they cleaned it, gave it a good clean on the outside before bringing it out to sell it to me. But when I removed the hard drive cover right in front of them, as you can see, it's filthy as hell. And I, I don't think he knew how to remove this part. And the look on his face changed. And at that point, I knew there's something probably wrong with the system. It's probably giving a PS4 is too hot error message if there's that much dust under the hard drive cover. But little did he know that I look forward to buying systems like these. That way I can make these videos for you guys. So please go ahead and smash that like button and smash that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already because I'm out here deliberately getting scammed so I can make these videos for you guys. Also check out my vlog channel in which I travel the world. I promise you won't be disappointed. Links in the description box. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys how to do is what I did in front of the seller which is remove the hard drive cover like that so you can remove the hard drive. And the reason why you'd wanna do that is if you have to replace the hard drive, if you're getting the PS4 cannot start error message, you most likely need a new hard drive. And to do that, it's very simple. We're just gonna remove this Phillips screw here, thanks to our Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit. And you can buy this kit on our website. You're gonna see it on the right side of the screen here. We sell this on our website, makes things a lot easier because it's automatic, so you don't have to manually unwind these screws. Then we're gonna pull out the hard drive, and as you can see, it's full of dust. This is an HEST 500 gigabyte. And we sell these hard drives on our website as well in case yours is broken. And I promise you that it won't look like this when it arrives. We're gonna remove these four screws. And now the hard drive is gonna be released from the enclosure. And as you can see, this is filthy right here. Now we're gonna look at the back of the PS4 where there's some stickers that we have to remove. The one in the middle are considered warranty stickers in some countries, but none of these PS4s have any warranty anymore. I just figured I'd let you guys know. So we're gonna remove these stickers on the side here first. Now the ones in the middle. Now we're gonna see some Torx T8H screws. These are not standard T8, so a standard T8 would not work. But luckily, this driver is included in our FastTech Pro Auto Kit. So we're gonna switch to our T8H bit, and we're gonna remove these screws. Once we've gotten these screws off, we're gonna remove the bottom cover by lifting it up from the sides. It's gonna come off like that. And my goodness, I understand this is a first gen PS4, but look at that. Look at that fan. It's completely clogged. So yeah, this person definitely tried to pull a fast one on me because there's no way this thing's gonna work on an actual game. That's why it's important to test things out when you're buying them on the used market, you know, whether it's Craigslist or whatever. This dust is completely hard. It's not even in soft state, which is interesting. I've never seen this before. It's completely sticky. I don't know if this is caused by weed smoke that makes it sticky like that, but this is actually hardened. So there's no way this thing is breathing at all. I'm not gonna touch it, but as you can see, it's completely solid. It's 
not, not coming off from the fan at least. So let's explore more at the expense of my lungs. Look at that. Now we're gonna remove the power supply. There's three Torx T8 screws and two Phillips. Switch to the Phillips again. We're gonna remove this cable on the side by grabbing it by the connector and pulling it out like that. And now we're gonna lift the power supply out. And surprise, surprise, there's a little cockroach in there too. A little added bonus on top of the dust. This is a power supply ADP 240AR. And you'd want to replace this if your system is not turning on at all. Not the blue light of death. Not when it beeps blue once and turns off. Even though in some cases it could be that. It could be the power supply that causes it. But only if it only does blue light once and then doesn't turn back on unless you unplug the system and plug it back in and then it does the blue light and doesn't turn on again, then it's the power supply. Or if the system's not turning on at all, that means there's no beep and there's no light indicator at the front at all. In that case, 99% of the times it's a bad power supply. And we sell the ADP 240 AR and all other PS4 power supplies on our website. Links in the description box, also in the top comment. And you can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. Now we're gonna remove the antenna. There is a screw here hiding under all this dust and some of these roaches that are embedded in the dust. I don't know if you can see this, this little guy here. He's just chilling. So we're gonna switch to our T8, remove the antenna and the cockroach. And we're gonna pull this cable here, lift up the antenna cable. Make sure not to touch that little roach on this cable here. Yeah, this system is straight out of uh, public housing for sure. Look at that, man. I wonder if that dust boosts that signal on that antenna. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the disk drive. There's this cable that we're gonna have to remove. We can push down this clip and pull like that. Same thing on this side, push down on this metal piece here and then pull. The cable's gonna come out. Now we're gonna remove the power cable here by wiggling it out. And there's gonna be a Torx T8 screw hiding underneath. We're gonna use our auto kit to remove that screw. This one here, this one here, and there's a Phillips screw at the front. Remove that one. And now our disk drive should be free. Get that screw out of there. And that's the disk drive right there. Lots of times these rollers come misaligned, so you have to Remove these screws, lift up the disk drive, put the rollers back in place. But sometimes these disk drives just stop working, especially if the system is this dusty. So to replace the disk drive, you do have to put in this logic board into your new disk drive. Otherwise, your new disk drive ordered, of course, at fasttechstore.com is not going to work. And again, if you want to buy these disk drives from us, make sure that you retain your old logic board. You're gonna need this logic board and put it in the disk drive we send you. Otherwise, it's not gonna read games. Links in the description box for this and the top comment and use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to remove the logic board on the disk drive so you can install it in your new disk drive if you're replacing your disk drive. There's three Phillips screws here. Gonna lift up this piece. We're gonna switch to a smaller Phillips from our Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit. We're gonna remove this Phillips screw here. And now we're gonna lift up this logic board, remove this cable by pulling it out. This one has a clip, which you have to lift up first like that and pull it out. And this one you just pull out as well. And remember guys, like I said, when you buy a new disk drive from us, make sure you put your old logic board into the new disk drive and reconnect it back the same way I disconnected it. <laughs> now we're gonna get back to the rest of the dust and the PS4 that's included with it. Now we're gonna flip it over on the other side. There's some screws that we're gonna have to remove on the other side. These are Torx T8 as well. We're gonna remove these two screws, lift up 
the case from the front like this. More dust, more cockroaches. Now I'm gonna remove all of these Torx T8 screws. Now that I got the Torx T8 screws out, I'm gonna remove the two Phillips screws that hold the heat sink on. Now we're gonna, usually on your system, there wouldn't be this much dust or a cockroach sitting on top of the fan connector. But on my system, I'm gonna get these roaches out of the way. They're having a little, uh, little fun time over there. I'm gonna let them do their thing. I'm gonna lift up this connector. I'm gonna lift it up, not out. We're gonna lift it up like this. And now we're gonna remove this plate here, lift it up. I'm not even gonna flip it around because I don't want the roaches to fall on my desk. So I'm gonna get this monstrosity out of the way, more dust, and now we have access to the motherboard. The motherboard on these is an SAA001, as you can see right here, and we sell these on our website if your motherboard is not working. There's one cable that I forgot to remove from this side, which is the disk drive power cable. I'm gonna lift it out and now the motherboard should be released. And that's her motherboard right there. It's definitely seen better days. The Bluetooth chip that fails very often and your controllers are not gonna connect if it does. The Panasonic chip under this plate right here that also fails. The CMOS battery that you guys will eventually have to replace. I'm gonna do a dedicated video on this very, very soon if I haven't uploaded it already. So that's the motherboard right there. But the main thing that I wanted to show you guys to disassemble this were not the roaches. It was the dust hiding in the heat sink and in the fan, which is what causes the PS4 is too hot error message. And that's been my bread and butter on YouTube. One of my most popular videos is showing you guys how to fix the PS4 is too hot error message. But I think in terms of just the sheer volume of cleaning that is going to be done on this system. I think this has to be my finest work yet. So please make sure to subscribe and smash that like button because I'm risking all kinds of disease to bring you these videos. We're gonna remove these three screws. Well, these two are completely hidden. They're under dust. We're gonna, we're gonna remove these two screws here and the one up top. up the heat sink at this point and you know what I'm surprised that there's not as much dust as I thought I mean it is enough to compromise the system as you can see here half of it is blocked almost 40% I would say but it's not enough to completely stop the system from running what would stop the system from running though is this fan right here so I'm gonna pull that out next but normally you guys should have more dust in here than this if you're, the rest of your system is this filthy. I'm not sure how that happened, but you know, it is what it is. But if you get this far, blow out this heat sink with a compressed air can that you buy at fasttechstore.com and also replace the thermal paste if you get this far. I recommend Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut, which we also sell on our website. Links in description box and also the top comment. Now, we're gonna remove this fan. There's two screws that hold it in. And I don't wanna to touch this thing, so I'm just gonna lift it up, but I have to touch it. And look at this monstrosity, man, Jesus. I don't know what those are, is that hair? Those little cockroach legs, what is that? They must have some kind of a pet. And yeah, this dust completely hardened. As you can see, this is solid and sticky. You know what I mean? I've never seen anything like it. This has to be the worst fan I've ever seen. How the hell was this system turning on at all? But yeah, this fan is gonna go straight in the garbage. It's spinning by some miracle, but Look at that. 
There's completely no airflow gonna go through that. So guys, that's how you open up a dirty PS4 and we're gonna clean it out at this point, but the system is not gonna go back together. So you guys are not gonna see the reassembly, but if you wanna see how to reassemble the system, you just follow my steps on how I disassembled it in reverse. And there's other videos on my channel where I've reassembled these fully. So you can watch those, just check out our channel again. And don't forget to smash that like button, smash subscribe. Thanks for watching another video from Fast Tech. I hope you're not too mortified at this point and I'll catch you guys in the next one.